Hi there guys, here I am for another video and in today's video we're going to be <coughs> doing, want to be, um, I have two ideas for videos and basically you're probably going to say well why don't you keep your ideas for, um, keep your ideas for, um, asshat. I at least want to be active. I at least want to be somewhat active in video making, video making, and trying to keep it, with the ass hat. I, with the ass hat, it's I could talk about whatever the fuck I want for ten minutes. For ten minutes, that's great. That's great. But I want to keep that to more non-movie related stuff more philosophical stuff philosophical stuff and like asking the big questions or whatever asking the big questions while in in a somewhat rant form I don't have to do that I don't have to do that but that's what I feel like doing with that particular portion my contribu uh, to my contribution to the internet and to the show. Um, anyways, th in this video, I'm going to be talking to you and talking to you of but of what is the best genre. Um, it should be obvious. It should be obvious, and I'm not going to be like one of those people who says. As a horror fan, as a horror fan, I know all, I know all, and I'm not certain, I'm not uncertain of my horror fanness, because I am a horror fan, like most horror fans do. They go on the defense to say, as a horror fan, like, it's like, it's an honor to be a horror fan. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's God's gifts to, God's gifts to films, and saying, I'm a fan of horror films. Oh, I'm a, I love, this is my favorite movie, as a horror fan. I know I'm guilty of that, but that's another thing that sort of pissed me off, whatever. Anyways, that's, that's, I kind of spoiled that. I fucked up, I'm sorry. But anyways, let's discuss each genre, each genre and discuss the um the contributions to the film industry either via the an artistic 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 merits either it's artistic or commercial merits let's okay let's first start off with the action films um I I like a few action films. Action films are my third favorite genre. If because uh, there's only to me there's no there's only these four genres of film: action, comedy, drama, and horror films. Horror films. There's no other genre of film out there than those four. Four. Like people say, what about a kids' films? What about kids' films? What about kids' films? Since the film, since the film is, since the film's direct audience, direct audience is, is children, is children and kids. That doesn't that doesn't exactly mean exactly mean that they have their own genre of film. It's just how the film, what they decide to do with the film. There, there's action. There's action children's films like, um, like Transformers. Transformers. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Like, like the G Force film back in 2009. You have comedy, comedy, um, children's comedies with like, with um, like, Bugs Life. Bugs Life, Ants. You can have a children's drama film with like I don't know Oliver Twist. And 
you could have a children's horror film with like Scooby Doo. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't really mean that. Oh God, children's films. Children's films have a whole different thing, different variety of genres that get into it. But it's just depending on a certain film that that genre comes in. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Well, you speak about what about holiday films? You got your, you got your action films that um like, Lethal Weapons. You have your Lethal Weapons for your Christmas movies. You have your Christmas stories. Yeah, a lot of websites just have them. Bullshit. So, okay, action films, action films. Artistically, artistically, they're the weakest. Artistically, they're the weakest genre of film. Commercially, commercially, they are, they are grand. Commercially, they're grand. Grand, they're grand. Because you have... You have a lot more. You have a lot of them. In the eighties, in the eighties, you have your Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. You have your um, Arnold Schwarzenegger action films. Action films. The films that um, come from directors like Renny Harlan. Renny Renny Harlan. You have your Die Hards. Die Hards. You have your um, Rambo's. You have your Rambo's. You have your um, you have your Rambo's, you have your... Yeah, you have those films, Commandos, Cobras. You had those films with John claude Van Damme, S Steven Seagal, before he went to direct-to-video nonsense, direct-to-video nonsense as Wesley Snipes did. Um, yeah. In the eighties, in the eighties, although I'm not, not typically, um, if you ask me what particular portion, portion, because in all honesty, there's only, there's only two subgenres to the action genre, action genre. You have those comic book adaptations, adaptations, adaptations recently, recently. Or you have the um, 80s, 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 um, 80s original films, or 80s original, like the 80s action films, original action films that aren't an adaptation, but just a star like Sylvester Sloan or Arnold Schwarzenegger having a battle or something, battle or something. You have those two different subgenres. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no subgenre, other subgenres to that particular genre of film. You have just those two. And if you ask me, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the 80s, 80 stuff, 80 stuff, because the majority of the comic book, comic book bullshit, comic book adaptations that we get, is shitty. I fucking hate those comic book adaptations. A lot of them, a lot of them that um, a lot of them that are critically critically loved. I dislike I dislike Captain America. I fucking hate it. Thor. I fucking hate Thor. There's 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 quite a there's still a quite a few of them that I like. I like I like Batman Begins. I like Superman Returns. Superman Returns. Those are the only ones that I actually can think of on top of my head. Iron Man, the first Iron Man was actually pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But the sequel sucked a di sucked dick, sucked dick. Um, I I never really liked Iron Man two. Iron Man two. At first, at first, I actually kind of enjoyed Iron Man three. But that's been many year, many months, many months ago. And after thinking about it, it's a pretty weak film. It's terrible. It's way better than Iron Man 2. That's all I could say. But um, 
yeah, you just have those. At least with the 80s, at least with the 80s, there's some, yeah, you have, at least with the 80s films, you have badasses, you have badasses, you have stories, stories, stories that remain in the sense of reality, in a sense of reality. You have Tango and Cash, Tango and Cash, I, I liked, I'm not a big fan of that film, but at least I like the, I uh, like the, like the, um, at least I like the, um, the dialogue and the charisma that both Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell have. You have those John Carpenter films like Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. You got those films. You got those films. Those are action films. It seems like there was more going on, more going on in the action genre, action genre, in the 80s than we have now. Um, I honestly can't think of anything that even comes close, comes close to the those 80s, 80s, 80s action films. The 90s were actually a pretty great year. You have your Terminator. You got, fuck. Even the 80s had the Terminator films. The Terminator films are one of my favorite favorite film series. Are one of my favorite film series. You got those films. You got the Terminator films. Terminator films. You have all those great films. And those uh, great films. But I honestly can't think of any any if anything now recently recently that isn't a comic book adaptation 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 to the screen screen that is anything like the 80s. Well, you're gonna be say, well, what about the Expendables? Both Expendables one and two suck dick. They're fucking horrible films. They come nowhere near. Cl they they come nowhere near as close, as close as the '80s stuff. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not very much of an action film fan. I like action films, but a, at least those films were shitty. They could suck a dick. Um, suck a dick. Yeah, you have sh like shitty action films like Machete. You have shitty films like Machete. Which was gonna be what Robert Rodriguez was gonna introduce you, introduce you to exploitation, but it, that ended up failing, and it was just a bad film, bad film. Yeah, none of those were typically good films. See, okay, you this this year you have Iron Man three, sucked a dick, sucked dick. Um. Suck the dick. That one sucked the dick. Man of Steel sucked the dick. Um. Yeah, and I honestly. Yeah, you get, every so often you have your Fast and Furious films. Fast and Furious films. I kind of enjoy the latest Fast and Furious film. I thought that wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was kind of entertaining. Kind of entertaining. But. Yeah, but most of those Fast and Furious films are the same plot regurgitated, regurgitated over and over again. So you don't really have nothing there, nothing there. But, but yeah. Okay, now let's talk about comedies. Comedies. My second favorite. My second favorite. That's my second favorite genre of film. A film. Okay, because whenever I go in a film, whenever I go in a film, if it ain't scaring, if it ain't scaring me, if it ain't scaring me, then it better make me fucking laugh, or both simultaneously. That would be fucking cool. Cool if some horror filmmaker, horror filmmaker, made a film that made you scared and the scared and laughing at the same time. Now that'd be. That'd be that'd be a pretty that'd be a pretty interesting combination of both at the same time, and I say that that's possible. I say that it's possible if the director was strong enough. But okay, uh, to me, to me, um, 
there was never a weak point, a weak point in the in in the comedy realm. There was never a area of weakness in the comedy in the comedy films from the seventies, eighties, and nineties to now. There was never really a weak point. Weak point. You have your, of course, every genre has those really shitty films, those shitty films in it. But every genre at least has a few good films. And comedies, comedies like, um, like in the 80s, you have Animal House. That's a funny movie. That's a funny movie. I like that one. You have your Blues Brothers. You have Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber, really good funny film. Really funny film. Um, really funny film. Uh, the Hangover, Horrible Bosses, Horrible Bosses, the recent This Is The End, This Is The End is mo my second favorite film of this year, second favorite film, but um, yeah, you can't really discuss comedies, discuss comedies, because all you can do is when you're reviewing them, reviewing them, is just, just say, Oh, that made me laugh, and that's what they fucking did. That's what they did, and they done their job. They done their job. They done their job well. That's all you can really do in in comedies. If they make you laugh, they done their job. Done their job, and that's all they fucking do. That's all they're supposed to do. See, with other films, with other films, other films. You you have to judge them, judge them for other things, other things, other things. But with comedies, comedies, with comedies, if if it doesn't make you laugh, it's a bad film. If it's a bad film, you don't judge it. You don't really nitpick. You don't really nitpick with comedies. You don't nitpick with comedies. You don't pick their errors, their errors. If it if it doesn't make you laugh. If it does make you laugh, then that's what it fucking does. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, you can't really dis there's not there's not very much of a discussion worthy topic with comedies. Okay. We got dramas. Dramas have always been the worst the worst genre for me. Worst genre for for me. Because because I honestly don't give a fuck about them. I don't give a fuck to be... I don't go to a movie. Go to a movie. And saying, fucking make me cry. Make me cry. Go ahead and make me fucking cry. No. I don't understand why these fucking snobby fucking critics, snobby fucking critics, give dramas a bypass. Majority of them, majority of them, they suck the drama's dick. Um, the only filmmaker who constantly makes good dramas is Quentin Tarantino. See, you see, Quentin Tarantino has a different variety of genres in his film, different varieties of genres in his films, but I ultimately, ultimately just, if you look at him, look at every single Quentin Tarantino film. The, the main genre that they fit in is in drama, in the drama subgenre, uh, the drama, the drama genre, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, he, he never made a bad film in that genre, <clears throat> he, he makes them interesting, he makes them interesting, he makes them have plots, have plots, have characters, have characters, they're not pretentious. They're not pretentious. They're not. They're not. They're not making you trying to make you feel sad. Feel sad and depressed. Depressed. They. They. They keep their John. They keep the drama with the act with the actiony sub with the. They keep the drama. They. They treat the drama as it's an as. They treat drama films. He treats drama films as if they were action films with intellectual merits. With intellectual merits. Okay. 
see um, Reservoir Dogs. It's ultimately about ultimately about the drama of the narc narc being in their group of in the group of boys the group of boys pulp fiction has streams of drama streams of drama jackie brown's a drama film kill bill volume one and two volume one and two are the well i think pulp fiction's the most undrama of his drama films but they're still there it's still there. Um, Inglorious Bastards drama is a drama film. The Django and Chain is a drama film. Um, you have, you have, you, you, I, I can tell that there's some good drama films. A Clockwork Orange is a terrific drama film. Terrific. <clears throat> Fight Club, Fight Club. Some there's some favorite films of mine in the drama drama department. Drama department. This is ultimately, ultimately, ultimately I, ultimately I'm not a big fan of that genre. There's still quite a few good films. I consider Fight Club to be a drama film. A drama film. You have. Um, you have you have social network social network you have zodiac you have slumdog millionaire slumdog millionaire you have american history x american history x solid film um requiem for a dream requiem for a dream terrific drama film drama film uh, you still have some good films but see at least uh, I like action films a lot more because action films are a little bit more entertaining entertaining but the drama the dramas have different have more variety more variety comedies comedies as a whole back to the comedy things they have some more variety other than the two things that action action has. Um, now we'll talk about horror films. Horror films. Most uh, most are great films. Most are great films. You have so many great films. To to me, um, horror has the most variety most variety of films that you could put in it. You have your spiritual satanic possession films, possession films. You have your slasher films. You have your zombie films, zombie films. You have your um. You have your ghost films. You have your um. You have there's so much there's so much room in the horror genre. Or genre that isn't in the other genre, other genres. And critics, critics don't really, don't really, um, don't really um, give horror the respect that it deserves. They don't really see the merit, the merit that that genre has, that merit that that genre has. It has a lot more going in it. It has a lot more. It has a lot more stuff in it than the other genres that we were previously speaking about. Speaking about, but also the horror genre is the uh, is the hugest attraction to lazy fucking filmmakers, lazy fucking filmmakers who make their shitty fucking movies with gore and nudity. Horror shouldn't be devoted to that because that's lazy fucking filmmaking, filmmaking, and any horror film fan who goes to and sees a horror film just for those merits isn't a true horror film fan. Horror, well, you can say, well, gore will make horrified. No, no, it's just stupid. It's fucking pointless. Pointless. What horrifies me is scares. Gore doesn't horrify shit. It doesn't evoke anything. It's just 
Ooh, we gotta focus on this gore. This gore's good. Oh god, of them gore crazy fucking nerds. Gore crazy psychopathic people. Psychopathic people go like, ooh, that film is gory. That's the main reason why people like the Evil Dead remake because it's fucking gory. Gory. They don't. They don't go. They don't go and see a horror film for, for horror film for strong, strong female, strong female, strong female leads who prove prove that prove that females can be strong, can be strong, who could be strong opposers to whatever's attacking them, attacking them. Don't, they don't go to the strong, they don't go to a horror film to see strong characters, strong characters who are in a shitty situation, but they ultimately fight for survival. Um, they don't go, they don't go and see horror films for, I don't know, don't know, scares. Solid fucking plot, solid fucking plot. No, we have to make everything go all about the gore. See? Thanks to it, thanks to more morons. But thanks to more. I'm not. I, I'm. I don't want to be insulting anybody. But thanks to morons who saw that Evil Dead trailer, Evil Dead trailer, Evil Dead remake trailer, and said, "Oh my God, that's the best movie ever because it's fucking gory." You know, it's gonna contribute to the horror genre being fucked anally up the ass. Thank you, people, for. Making horror, the horror, not very enough for downgrading the horror genre. Thank you very much for making the horror genre a fucking joke. Fucking joke. You made it a fucking joke. You're contributing to filmmakers treating the horror genre as it is a fucking joke by saying, "Oh, that's a great movie because it's gory." I've seen I've seen gory films. I'm not saying that a film is shitty because it's gory. A shit film horror film is shitty because it's gory. There's plenty of horror films that are gory that I like, but it's, it, it, the reason why I like them is because they have strong characters, a strong plot, and have scares. Scares. See that what that Evil Dead remake didn't have that the original did. The original had scares, had scares. It scared me to shit. It scared me to shit. But no, thanks, thanks to, thanks to these motherfuckers who like to go and say, oh, it's a gory film. It's a gory film. You, you just basically said, fuck. The, basically, you say fuck the substance. Fuck the substance of the film. Fuck the substance. It's all about the visuals. That's basically what people are nowadays are devoted to. Devoted to saying, "Fuck the substance." It's all about the visuals. As well, people do who who bitch about CGI, who bitch about CGI. I, I hey, I would appreciate some good effects. Good effects, but. I don't judge. I don't may judge spe the. I don't judge a film upon its special effects. The special effects. I don't judge a film on special effects. I judge it on its substance, its character development, its plot. But no, these people who hate CGI, who hate CGI, CGI. They and they basically focus on how shitty CGI is. It's just basically you're saying saying. Fuck the substance. Fuck the substance. It's all about whatever is visually pleasing for these eyes. Whatever is visually pleasing for these eyes. I, I honestly don't give a fuck about the special effects. Special effects of a film. It would be nice to have good special effects, but I honestly don't give a fuck about the special effects. Special effects. Honestly, I don't give a fuck about it. As long as the film has strong character development, a strong plot, that's all I ask for. Good character development and good plot in a film. I don't ask for, ask for like, give me an orgasm in the eye hole, eye hole, because that's all I fucking care about. Anyways, 
thank you guys for watching and ultimately horror is the best genre of film best genre of film has the most going for it but it's just the most it's the most dis the genre that is easily the most disrespected amongst critics critics and its fans its fans its fans it's disrespected disrespected and treat it like it's all about the gore dude fuck the pathetic